Hello and welcome to the Dave Verdan Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Cross Country Head Coach Dave Verdan. And Coach, you had a pretty successful weekend up at the NCAA Mid-East Regional this weekend. Uh, made a little bit of history for the first time. You had a pair of runners qualify on the men's side for national championships in Pat Watson and Langston Gash. Just talk about the race as a whole. And, and also, you finished seventh as a team, which is by far your best finish. You're just talking about the whole the whole experience. Yeah, so I'm, our ultimate goal this season was to finish as high as fifth. But, I mean, going into the meet, we were ranked seventh, so we finished where we were ranked. But um, just to, I mean, a little bit of history, last year we were 15th, yeah. and the year before that we were 21st. So we're right. kind of making that progression, and we only have three recruiting classes. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so it's really exciting to have Pat and Langston in really just three years going to the national championships. Absolutely. It normally takes – a lot longer for that to happen so it's exciting yeah you look at a lot first the track and field cross country program obviously last year in the indoor you had your first um, qualifiers both male and female for indoors mm-hmm. first female qualifier for outdoors last spring and now the first on the men's side cross country uh, championship qualifier so it's been an exciting time for your program yeah definitely and that, that's what kind of what I, I know coach Kemadeka and I tell recruits how you're going to be able to be a part of a lot of firsts here at Stevenson so I mean going on next year I mean we still haven't won that conference championship we still haven't right. made it to nationals as a team yet um, and there's a lot of firsts still that happened on the women's side as well yeah talk a little bit about that men's race you just tell me how how close it was at the front of the top 15 or 16 finishers really finishing a pack right at the end yeah so um, so even though Pat and Langston were as far back as 11 and 13th place yeah. they were only 11 seconds out of first so it was a really tight race I mean I told them just to kind of get out and get in that front group and kind of hang on and that's exactly what they did and it was really exciting to see see them still there kind of towards the end and knowing confidently that that they were going to make it to nationals yeah I was still a bit, little bit of suspense for Langston and that you know he had to wait till Johns Hopkins was officially named to the field on Sunday but Pat knew he was in on Saturday yeah to just finish. yeah so Langston was if you take the top two automatic teams yeah. out Langston was the eighth individual and he only takes seven but we knew there was a very good shot that Johns Hopkins was going to get in and actually Johns Hopkins and York yeah. are both going so then the one Johns Hopkins guy that was ahead of Langston yeah. doesn't count so now we were the fifth and seventh individuals so yeah and to f- you know, to have four from the region and to finish seventh means you guys are right on the doorstep yeah of, you know potentially you know with everybody back next year you know potentially maybe making that jump and going to nationals so. yeah definitely so Langston's a, a junior and Pat's only a sophomore and I mean we don't graduate anybody so it's a really exciting time I mean th- their goal for next year is to get there as a team yeah and then on the women's side um, a little bit more history uh, Kelly Winklebauer finished 32nd overall the best place by a women's cross-country roster for Steve runner for Stevenson um, that hurt, earned her all region honors the first time you've had that on the women's side yeah so I mean we were talking about first before so Kelly was the first all region runner that we've ever had and um, it's exciting I mean she wanted to finish a little bit higher but yeah. I mean she, she ran what she could on that day and it, it was exciting and then the woman as a team finished 23rd which is kind of right around where we were two years ago I think we were 22nd so yeah. we're, we're looking to really improve on that a lot next year yeah and again the same thing on the women's side is that you don't really lose anybody so you'll be you know continuing to build that program and hopefully you know maybe Kelly's got you know another couple shots I believe at nationals so as you continue to build that program as well there'll be more first yeah definitely and and it's going really well with the women I mean they're developing well and like you said I mean it's a very young team so it's exciting to see where they are next year all right, so you head out on Thursday to uh, to nationals out in Illinois. Yeah. Um, what do you know about the course? Um, I've, it's an honest course. Normally, I mean, statistically, like if you look at the history of national course, it's normally pretty flat and fast. Yeah. And this year, it's actually got quite a bit of rolling hills in the middle. So, yeah. so I think that's actually going to help Pat and Langston. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, they went out. They trained, you know, out in Arizona this year. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, at altitude, so and had a little bit of hills out there. Yeah, and then our conference meet and the regional meet we just ran were both on hilly courses, so yeah. so they're ready for it. So it's exciting. I mean, the I, I told them going into this weekend that if they made it to nationals, it's kind of like the icing on the cake for this season. Yeah. But um, they still they're competitive and they want to do well. But it's it's exciting because they're going to kind of go out there this time with not really a lot of pressure. Right. And just kind of put their nose in it and see where they how high they can finish yeah nothing to lose and you know obviously the expectation you know the goal was to make it to nationals mm-hmm. and now whatever they can do obviously it's the first time and you know maybe they'll, hopefully they'll come back with a strong finish yeah and anything's possible so top 40 are all american and yeah. i mean i feel like it's, 
that's I mean that's why they run a race. Anything's yeah. possible. Absolutely. All right, coach. Well, best of luck. Safe travels out to Illinois, and we'll have you on here one final time next week to recap the nationals and uh, okay. you know look ahead a little bit not to next not only the next year but um, you know the track and field season. Which I was going to pick up with Coach Cam at that point. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, for Dave Dan, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Dan Show.